hello everyone and welcome back guys to a brand new video where today we are here playing Forza Horizon 5. Yes, arguably, you know, this and F1 2021 were up there this year as the two games I definitely, definitely wanted to play. Obviously, if you're watching this on the main channel, make sure you head over to my second channel. It'll be linked down in the description below. We are going to be doing a lot of Forza Horizon 5 over the coming weeks and months. And I cannot stress to you guys enough just how much, how sort of important these games are uh, for me. You know, Forza Horizon, the franchise, has been the most anticipated game for me years upon years. For pretty much now a decade, you know, these games I've put so many hours into in the past as well. They're the reason I started making YouTube videos, so you know, if you're watching this, you've got the Forza Horizon franchise to thank as well. It's currently quarter to five in the morning, but I woke up just so excited to play this. I've booked time off work. There's going to be plenty of content coming from this game over the coming weeks and months. So if you aren't already, make sure you get yourself subscribed and let's dive into this. I am so, so excited to head to Mexico. Obviously, this is being played on an Xbox Series X. I'm going to try and bring you guys some RTX 3090 gameplay as well uh, when I get a chance down the line. But for now, let's jump in to Forza Horizon 5. I have no idea what to expect from this. I cannot stress that enough uh, to begin with. Whether we are... We're going to go with... Uh, I think we're going to go with performance mode for this. You know, I want to give you guys 60 FPS content as well there. But let's just quickly double check everything. Um... Can we change our settings? Oh yeah, we go difficulty. So uh, normally I run in beta. We're going to start off with pro uh, again. We basically run everything off on this game apart from yeah, we run braking line as well. The manual shifting, no traction, no stability control, or anything like that. Uh, we'll leave ABS on just to begin with as well. It's it's been a little while uh, since I played the Forza Horizon games as well. That we're going to roll with that. And loving the fact on this game you can actually change that. Uh, before you dive in to your first race as well. But any other video settings we can change? No, that's just sort of like the brightness. Right, so subtitles are now on. It, it worried me it took that long to find this. But yeah, now let's jump in to Forza Horizon 5. Like I said, um, yeah, I've, I've never actually lo looked at any footage for this before we've dived into this game. I just wanted to jump into it completely with a blank canvas. But Mexico is certainly an interesting place for the series to head to. We're going to get Japan one day, boys. I believe it in my heart. So, uh, quickly before we jump in then, we need a nickname for this game. Fingers crossed it's actually a game that's got Matt on it. It should have Matt, I'd, I'd like to believe. Don't really want to be known as champion throughout this. I can't imagine this game's got Mr. Monaco on it either, which obviously we normally run on F1. Let's just wait and see. Come on, don't, don't bail me out. Come on. Please, Forza, show me Matt. There we go. Finally, we've got a game with my name in it. It's not an uncommon name, surely. But yeah, all the normal buttons, pretty much as you'd expect. And yeah, the, the graphics immediately, as as also you'd expect from a Forza Horizon game, look stunning. I'm hoping Series X loading times. Sometimes, you just have to let go 
and enjoy the ride. Right, here we are then, ready for Forza Horizon 5. Let's jump right in then and get jumped down into the game in a Ford Bronco. These, these intros to these games just get wilder and wilder each time round. It's actually insane. Right, so dropping in then by the looks of it into the volcano. Well, not quite into the volcano, but certainly right next to it for our first drive in the new Ford Bronco. And immediately, yeah, graphics look absolutely stunning, as you'd expect. Welcome to Mexico for our first drive on this game. Now, immediately, handling feeling very, very similar to previous games, as you'd probably expect. There is the huge, huge airplane heading off into the distance, of course, just going through all the buttons, everything like that. This thing... Slow off-road, but certainly not as quick as I would expect. How many gears has this thing got? It's a 10-speed gearbox. Okay, Ford, fair play. Over the first big jump of the game. I was not expecting a 10-speed out of this thing. I, I won't lie to you guys, but down a huge, huge space of the volcano. 180 miles an hour. <laughs> right, okay, this thing isn't slow anymore. Yeah, no, this thing definitely isn't slow. No idea what that guy's in. Is that one of the... Uh, is that the Porsche? Uh, I'm not 100% sure if that is a Porsche or not. But yeah, 180 miles an hour there for a brief moment. Right, let's watch out for that then. It's, it looks like we're going to head and jump into a big festival style arena. Let's enter in fashion. There we go. Look at that for a shot. Right out ahead of a lot more of the old school style proper off-roaders. Yourself. I have to go make another delivery. Here we go. Corvette CAR as well. Obviously driven the race version of this. A lot of modifications on it as well there as we get our first look at the dust bowler in front there. One of the new sort of weather systems that has been launched to Forza Horizon 5. Is what's that guy in? <laughs> storm. Like keep going. Gotta keep going into the eye of the storm by the looks of it. We'll do this in cockpit cam then, I suppose. You guys can watch my twitchy steering as well. But yeah, I mean, this thing, like I said, it's got a lot of modifications on it, but it grips into the corners. Just look at that in the distance. That is so, so cool. I want to get a better view of it as well. Then Mitsubishi... Blocking our route. Porsche's blocking our route as well. That's a Taycan as well. They're just sat in the way. But look at that. Up in the distance. That is just so, so cool. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go around it. We've got to go through it. Look at that. That is just so, so cool on this game. And into the storm we go. Okay, that's fair enough. I love what they've done with the graphics there. Have a look what it looks like in cockpit cam. You cannot see a thing in front of you. You've got to be mad to do that. 160 miles an hour. Okay, on my mark. Five, four. Four now, that's fine. Uh, this could get a little rough. Thunder in the jungle, in what's looking like a very, very old Rally Raid Porsche. Look at that! Listen to that! Not even a scratch. The jungle awaits. <laughs> this thing sounds brilliant. Immediately, finally, they've improved the sounds on these games. It cannot be. I mean, yeah, there's not a lot that sounds better than the flat six. I'm not going to say it's the best sounding thing in the world, but it certainly does not sound too shabby on this game either. As we head through the rainforest, well, rainforest or jungle, I'm not 100% sure which one it is, but yeah, this is looking, sounding, everything. Is is this going to be, surely this is going to be the best Forza Horizon game so far, the most complete package. For me, Horizon 2, now part of that is still nostalgia, but Horizon 2 for me is still like the most hype 
pause the game as well, though, so you just head through. Look at this, just a little village in the middle of the jungle there. You've got a huge mountain up in the distance there. I think, is that like a cathedral just up there in the corner of the shot as well as someone drops in in a huge off-road style buggy as well? I think they're going to play an even more important role on a Forza Horizon 5 and in the past. There goes the helicopter, uh, the airplane, sorry, I should say. Once again, the can be a bit cheeky, take some shortcuts. Oh, we, we might have written that thing off. That's not quite what I wanted to do to my Porsche. There is loving the rally style pace notes as well. It looks like we're still off-roading at the moment. There is the damage model. Seems to be, yeah, not too changed from the previous game. So I can understand that's down to licensing more than else. I want to have a go over that huge bridge at some point as well there, but this car in this terrain. Oh, this game, this game, and like I said, is, is immediately so much hype. You can see why this is the driving game that everyone wants to play, whether you're a racing game fan or not. Horizon 5 just, just brings in a whole market of people. <laughs> this thing looks stunning. <laughs> I cannot wait to see one of these in real life, but look at that! Look at that for a dash! This thing, yeah, is... I mean, really fast as well. We're here in Mexico. We got Scott back once more. Koenig the Yes Go as well. Definitely going to be taking that out for a spin at some point on this game. Oh, a little bit. Less rotation there through the front than I was expecting. But this thing does look stunning. Oh, who says active aero looks bad? 11,000 RPM as well, this thing revs up to. <laughs> Ignore the interesting driving. Now, I don't think I want to take this thing off-roading all too much on Forza Horizon 5. As again, there goes the plane. But we've got enough momentum. Alongside this Yesco, I'm sure that thing absolutely pulls. When it needs to get out of the way, you poxy little V64 GT. First game the AMG One's really come to the first time we've really had a proper look at the AMG One as well. Though Mercedes, they know how to do some marketing in recent years as well. There we go. I got some scrapes on it now. Got everyone culminating here, and let's get ready then. Horizon 5 drag race strip to finish it off. There is the McLaren long tail. Oh, yeah. Well, that was day one of our Mexican Fiesta party, people, and we are just getting started. Please welcome our number one superstar to Horizon Mexico. Right. Let's get in then. Quick character customization. Before we dive into everything else, we'll, we'll basically just go with the same character I did last year. And I love the fact, fair play, Playground Games, you've added prosthetics to the game there. Love, lovely, lovely touch. The, the hype in his voice then. You can tell Matt was pretty far down the list of names he was ever to say, can't you? But that definitely looks like me. <laughs> hey, my friend, when you dropped from that plane, what were you thinking? I was doing all I could to not think about it. <laughs> Jamie told me to expect big things from you, but nothing so... Uh, so... Espectacular? Yes, Hayley! 
I have so much to show you. Cerros, desiertos, la jungla, pirámides, la belleza de México. Your pronunciation was muy bien, by the way. Getting better. Listen, if you plan on stopping by the festival at any point, you'll need one of these. No promises, jefa. I believe this is yours. How was your flight? Not bad. Exit procedure was a bit rough. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Come on. Rami will handle expeditions. I will coordinate festival logistics, which just leaves... Primita! Ven! <laughs> what do you call Primita, Primito? I saw what you did in the UK. Vamos a hacer de banda. Alejandro, right? If the rumors about what you can do with an engine are true, I'm sure we will. Oh, speaking of, did we get that delivery? Arrived this morning. Yes. Mira, que chulada. This is quite a collection. You've got taste. I'll get them over to the garage. But which one are you taking out first? Decisions, decisions then. So nice to see there's a bit of continuity from Forza Horizon 4. They're sort of talking about our time at the festival there as well. But I, I don't really know which car to take. Stingray seems a bit cheaty. Bronco seems a bit just too off-roady. I'm I'm really really drawn by the by the BMW Z4. Yes, I'm I'm sorry. I had to bring the meme in at some point there. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna roll with some GDM to kick off our Forza Horizon 5 adventure. First car on this game. I'm sure at some point I'll max out my garage. Let's get it. Ah, the A90 Supra, the latest successor to one of the most iconic cars out there. Good choice, especially if you like drifting. Gotta be the Supra. Great. How about a personalized number plate? That's pretty easy for me. We'll rock the custom Mat 2 and 2 plate as always. There we go. Mat 2 and 2 plate sorted. Let's dive in. I'll get the rest of your cars to the garage. Gives me a little more time with them. Oh, okay. So we, at least we get all three cars. Hey, Matt. Talk about making an entrance. I know you've just arrived, but our first showcase is ready to roll. We just need our superstar. And I think, I think we will leave that for part two later on today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this first video on Forza Horizon 5. Like I said, I'm going to try and do Let's Plays of this game Basically, obviously, until we sort of complete, like, the main campaign mode as well. But there's going to be plenty of other content from Forza Horizon 5. We're going to be jumping on in. Uh, we're going to be doing all the car pass cars. We're going to be going through and driving all those. Of course, we're going to be doing all the festival completion as well. They know how you unlock all the cool cars from Forza Horizon 5 as well. Oh, I am ready. I'll be there soon. Right. But, yeah, so there's, there's going to be plenty of content up, coming from this game as well. Scott Tyler on base arena. That's always my go-to on this game as well. But yeah, this thing looks stunning to jump in to this game as well. There have we can't obviously unlock everything just yet. We'll have to go through a bit more of the game as well there. But yeah, looking forward so much to diving on into this festival playlist. Obviously, we'll have to unlock that in the next episode as well there. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, do make sure you leave a like, get yourself subscribed. Like I said, if you're on the main channel, go check out the second channel. That is where all the content is going to be. We're going to be doing some shorts as well, comparing this game to the previous Falls of Horizons as well there. But yeah, we'll be back later on today, ready with part two.